I learned a lot in my 94 years that you can't live in this world by yourself. You may have something today and not have anything tomorrow, but all of us, before we leave this world, we're going to need somebody to do something for us. And that's, that's the important thing. The reason for me staying involved in it is that maybe because I, as a child, didn't always get everything I wanted. And my dad being a pastor, I, his salary wasn't really adequate, but uh, the members and, and friends always saw that uh, we had plenty of, uh, plenty of food to eat. It's just one of those things. I guess it just hung on to me because I, I saw all the good work my dad did. And if people came to see him, if they came and knocked on the door, uh, we lived next door. First thing he asked if we were having dinner, have you had your dinner? Won't you come on and join us? And there was eight of us in family, and uh, we uh, he have us slide down, make room for you. It's the kind of thing that I grew up with. I've served two and two generations of kids. Some of the girls wound up uh, being uh, mothers before their time, and uh, they uh, needed help. And a lot of people have been uh, been blessed by this this church being here. There's nothing that that is. Uh, uh, keep me from doing it. If I see there's a need to help people and I can help them, I'll help them. So long as I'm able to move around, I intend to do what I can to help the people here in, in the pantry. I may get on their nerves. I may, I may be a pest as far as some of them are concerned, but my heart is in the right place.